YouTube that No Conversation, the song we've just listened to, um, came out in January 2018. So you must have been creating very quickly then. Yes. Very fast. From the time after you guys met. You should see our process in the studio, actually. What is that it's like? It's crazy. Uh, it starts with uh, some madness, and then uh, we just juggled between different ideas. Mm -hmm. What's the madness? See. Wait, let's yeah. expound on madness. It starts with some madness. Yeah, uh -huh. sometimes we tell the producer to create something out of nothing. Like, just, I want this to sound like this, I want this to sound like this, I want this to sound like this. Mm -hmm. And he also has an idea. So we have to find a way to fuse like the two frequencies together okay okay yeah, so that we can come up with something really nice uh-huh uh -huh. exactly and then once you've hashed that out we write on the spot okay or maybe if the producer had sent us a beat before you already had something written exactly down. Okay. Already, yeah. but i prefer writing on the spot because of the energy mm. yeah the energy in the studio the like vibe, everything yeah, yeah do you write together standardly or do you typically write Apart, even if you're in the studio together, you're not necessarily talking until it's time for you to do your verses and what happens. Does that make sense? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Write apart. You write apart. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But when it comes to hooks and maybe the song idea in general, okay, yes, of like course. we just come up with the ideas together. Right. But now you have to write your own bars. Like I have to make sure I kill him and he has to make sure I, I kill him too. I, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I love that. So do you feel like you guys are always trying to up one another? Exactly. But like in a healthy growth kind of way? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because I feel since he's a good rapper, yeah. a very dope rapper. Yeah. So whenever he comes with that dope verse, mm. I have to kill it too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I totally understand what you mean. Yeah. Okay, that sounds like really awesome yeah. symbiotic it's energy. Healthy competition. Everybody. That exactly. Yeah. It sounds like it's healthy competition. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But remember, compete, compete. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. All right, all right. Y'all stick around. I've got more uh, coming at you with Funk Avenue. Fun little facts. They have grown up with at least two people who work at Capital FM currently. I think that's so funky. That's <laughs> yes. It just keeps on getting funkier and funkier with you guys. Yeah. So who knows? Maybe by the end of the show, you'll find out we all grew up together. I hope, so. <laughs> I, 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 hope really so. hope so. yeah, I really hope so. I really hope so. I'm so done. You better yes. stop, Shams. All right. Keep it locked. More coming up for you right here. How are you doing, Catherine? You said, I'm tuned in from Juja. I be telling my friends about you so you know it's serious. Heart. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Boo. Yes. Yes, shoot your shot as yeah, uh, you as too. somebody you, you, you know, yeah, yeah. this Funk Avenue letting you know that they definitely love only been working with uh two producers. Okay. As of now. Mm -hmm. Uh that's Kush. Uh Kush is like uh he's the guy behind You remember that Wam Lambe's song? <laughs> How could we forget it, darling? Yes, yes, of course. So he's the man behind that song. <laughs> okay. Uh but uh, we found another producer as well. His name is Shaq Def. So we've only been working with just the two of them. Okay, cool. Kush and Shaq Def, because they really get our sound and they they always give us what what what, what, what we you're really looking want. for. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So it and just they have the ability to create on the spot. Like this is what we want. This is how we want to sound. Uh -huh. So they always uh, have the ability to create on the spot. Mm. Yes. Okay, very funky, and I know there seems to be this real emphasis on creating on the spot. Exactly. What yep. happens if something's premeditated and it's created, I guess, before the spot, not on the spot, or it's expounded on, on you know, on the spot, um, but it already comes pre, you know, a little bit pre-cooked. Is that going to be a problem? Let me give you, let me give you a quick example. Mm -hmm. Like, you know how random parties really rock? Like... Yeah. Exactly. So that's like the same energy. That is um, such a freaking great analogy because it's yeah. so on point. I completely get you. Yeah. yeah when, when you plan something, you always yeah. procrastinate about it. Uh -huh. uh, you always have other ideas like to, you know. Or you already like, have something built in your head about what that party's going to look like exactly, or like what yeah, that gala is yeah, going to yeah. be like or that whatever versus when it's like, dang, that just yeah. ended up being a, a sick house party. Exactly. And like nobody was even trying hard. Hello party. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we just empty our cups. Okay. And just enter the studio with our cups empty. Okay. Yeah. So, I like that. Yeah, we empty our cups outside the studio. We just get in the studio uh, with empty cups so uh -huh. that we create something new, something fresh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very, very funky. That's dope. That's dope. How did you come up with the name Funk Avenue? Speaking of funky. Actually, he did it. Actually, okay. uh, it was like a random. We came up. It's like a random name we came we came up with. Uh -huh. Now that's Sims, by the way, saying that twist is supposedly the one coming up with the name. So go ahead, twist. Sorry. So, um, but with time, we came and saw the real definition of 
Funk Avenue because it's a vibe from 115 Funk Avenue. Avenue means 115 where we came from. Okay. That's Limuru. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. And funk being obvious. A vibe. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The and music also that funk, you're funk also means frenzy. Like anytime we perform, most of the people like I don't know they just go crazy with the with the music. Mm hmm. So we interpret that. Uh, with the frenzy as well. Okay. Exactly. Okay, I like it. Do you feel like you have funk in your in your music in your sound? When we started, uh, we had uh, yeah, we, we were sampling funk as well mm -hmm. when we started. But then as we grew, we started uh, inventing our own sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And well, you can. I mean. But you'll still borrow from another. So do you yeah, think yeah, you're yeah. still borrowing from funk we'll even still today? Have elements of funk yeah. in our music. Okay. Yes. You okay? You you do think so? Okay. Very very cool. Very very cool. Stick but around. We still try to get in touch with the African. I mean, funk is black. African. Exactly. Funk is African. Anything yeah. black. First of all, music is African. Exactly. Yeah, like pretty much. Yeah. Like, and any popular music that you're listening today can probably be traced back to the continent in some okay. way. Or, you know, some fashion or form. So, super yeah, dope. Great. Yeah, yeah. Okay, kudos to you. It is right now 6 minutes past 8 in the p.m., so let's get into Kisilla's set. You go ahead and stay right there. I've got more goodness coming up where it all came from, and I've got more to talk about with these really awesome guys. You ready? Okay, not for nothing, they did go crazy on this song. This is a very fun song. Take It Low by Funk Avenue, who I have in studio here. Hey, gents. Hey, Lou. What's good? What's good? What's good? Really, really love the energy of this song in particular. And this is one of your more recent ones, so exactly. it's very, yeah, very yeah. cool to see the direction in which you know you're now taking things yeah um and this was released in 2020 back in covid yeah so it's um how, like did you do the video in that period as well exactly yeah we the actually, video's really fire simon, too. simon and abu shot it he shot it he shot it L O L. Yeah, and we had like a few hours because of the curfew. We had like. And I'm freaking. i actually this is so hysterical because i was literally just about to say this is the best video that i've seen from y'all in all your work Thank you. Thank you. Very and I'm just like, well, it makes sense. It's the old um, Simon Abu treatment. Okay, very, very. Who you also grew up with? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, by the way, I love the Tracy Wajido, um shout out line there. <laughs> that got me so good just now. I love that so much. Like, thank you for that. Thank you for that, Sims. <laughs> I hope she heard it. I hope she heard it. <laughs> I'll definitely make sure she does. Yeah, 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 Don't message. worry. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna put her on in just a, a minute. Still having fun with you guys. You can continue talking to us as we talk here with Funk Avenue on the hype. Myself, one Jira Casilla throwing down on the decks. 0701984984 is our WhatsApp at Capital FM if you want to talk to us on there. Out to drop, right? Is that going to be available on all streaming services? Can I find that everywhere? All of them. Okay. Everywhere. Okay. And who's who's produced that or is it very? Uh, very. Just the two producers. Okay, the two producers. Yeah, you've, Kush you've and Shut Def on it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. How long have you been working on this album? Uh, For a few months now. Okay, yeah, and and who is, or where do you see your music going in the near future or along the way? Uh, definitely internationally because we've been like locked in the studio for so long. Yeah. For a few months, so uh -huh. the sound is really changed right now. Okay. Yeah, and we're trying to make music that can compete, uh, like they can compete with people from other countries as well. Yeah. Because right now with the internet, everyone is on the same level playing field. Like Agreed 1,000%. Yeah, everyone is, like Elsa your music Machugo. is everywhere. So we want, <laughs> we want to make competitive music. Yeah. Music, music that you can play in Nigeria and then people will resonate with the music. Music that you can play in New York and people will resonate with the music. Exactly. Yeah, so we want, we want competitive music. We want to compete with the people who are like at the top right now. I'm desperate to find out the psychology behind that. This is the second or third time you brought up the word competitive or competition yes yeah what's that about you guys you guys seem to have a lot of drive yeah exactly that's how you become better actually because when you're learning something you try to do something to your level best yeah and when you do something to your level best it's going to be compared to people who are doing stuff at their level best as well mm, so you have to make sure yours stands out yeah from yeah. everyone else you know? right right, yeah. right 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 i see the logic in it well you know um the old adage how do you get to Carnegie Hall? How you get to? Do you know Carnegie Hall? Carnegie, Carnegie Hall is a very famous place in New York where um, like the best of the best play, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, when it comes to music, any kind of music really. Um, but especially it's been typically known for like classical and, and kind of operatic jazz. and things like that. Mm -hmm. Jazz, yeah, whatever it would be. Like those kind of, you know, old art, older art forms. Yeah. Um, you wouldn't really find like a rap 
thing happening at Carnegie Hall, but it's used across the board. So if somebody asks you, how do you get to Carnegie, Carnegie Hall? Mm -hmm. It sounds like you're asking for directions, right? Yeah. But the answer is practice, practice, practice. Because in order to become the best, if the best are playing at Carnegie Hall, then you have to, you, you have, have to, to practice. Yeah, right? you've got to make sure that your fingers are bleeding, you know yeah. what I mean? Or you lose your vocals trying to hit that note. You just got to make sure that you're doing it over and over again uh, and trying, you know, how to be creative in as many ways as possible. So I totally hear that. Stick around. We're about to wrap up with these really awesome gentlemen, namely um, Sims and Twist from Funk Avenue. In the meantime, go. The hype I have a really, really dope uh, crew right in here who are letting me know about their musical journey. Guys, that was really fabulous. It's fun to see everything that you've been up to. Thank and I'm excited so to see, yeah, you're welcome. I'm excited to see where everything's headed. Now, it's very interesting, um, your musical journey, because now this is far more like trap-like. Yeah, this trap. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm just like, y'all have a lot of different kind of sounds. I'm loving it though. So you were talking, um, Sims, off, uh, off mic about how hip-hop is about competition, exactly. right? When I brought yeah. up competition. Yes. So it really seems like you guys are in competition with yourselves as well. Yes. Right? In terms of just how you create, and then also that's spurring, like, different types of sounds in all that you guys are doing. Yeah. Do you feel like you've settled yet on one sound since I've heard so many different ones? We actually have, but Gori was just to show the diversity okay. that Funk yeah. Avenue can bring to the table. Yeah. Like, uh, if you okay. want us to do this, we can do this and kill it. I hear that. So, yeah. now we break bread. Now we break bread. How are we going to, what are we going to, what should we expect there? Like, how, what can we expect? Like, you see how I'm so, like, I'm, like, tongue-tied. I'm just like, but if you can do this, this, that, this, that, this, that, all at the same time, which one are you going to choose? Uh, we've kind of mixed up. Okay. We've mixed up different okay. vibes, but just... Just expect vibes, like it's gonna be vibes on vibes on vibes. Okay, are you sorry? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you feeling vibes on vibes? Yes. Okay, all right, I'm feeling it. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Um, it was really awesome having you. Also, shout out to Omoke who I see did this video, which is also super duper sick. Shout out to Omoke. Shout out yeah, to Omoke. he's very dope as well. Yes. All right, fabulous. So great having you here. Thank you for coming, and I hope to see you again. Thank you for Cheers. having us. Always, anytime. Right. It's already 34 minutes past 8 in the PM. Let's get back into the sets.